All right. Uh, good morning. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It's 8.13 in the morning. And let's take a look at the uh, how we did over the last couple of weeks. First of all, in uh, California, you can see this strong peak back on the 29th and 30th into the 1st of July, produced a 3.4, 3.7 in Malibu. And this uh, spike in uh, risk here uh, on the 12th produced a 4.0 just southeast of San Diego. And as we were forecasting this peak here, we were forecasting a 4.4. It was a 4.6. And you can see it hit right down here near east of San Diego, right there. And then we had a bunch of other quakes, 4.3. 3.9, 3.5, all down in that area where we had forecasted. You can see the map here. Um, right there, uh, highest risk was down in uh, Southern California. And that's where the quakes occurred, uh, right on time, exactly when we said the 16th into the 17th. And that's when those quakes occurred. So this forecast model is working very well. And you can see uh, coming up on the uh, July 23rd, we have a high risk in the south for about about 3.8 earthquake as possible at that time. And then uh, in Japan, you can see this strong peak here back on the 29th produced a 6.2 earthquake. This one produced a 5.5, 5.3, 4.6. This one produced a 5.0 near Sendai, Japan. So all these... Uh, Forecast risk peaks have been producing a quake on time in the right location. And you can see here coming up about a 5.2 earthquake is likely on July 20th. And that should be either down here near Miyazaki or up near Hokkaido. So once again, another uh, peak coming up on uh, July 23rd, about a 3.8 is possible at that time. And... Um, So this forecast model has been working very well. Thanks for joining us here today on uh, July 17th. QuakePrediction.com. Thank you.